back on trail and I could not be more excited. And a little hesitant. Mm, yeah, so let's talk about it. So I got off trail on March 18th in Franklin, North Carolina. Done 110 miles and was feeling just more confident and was really enjoying myself and starting to meet people and sort of just getting the hang of the trail, if you will. And um, I wasn't, my phone had died and so I wasn't getting a lot of the news. And when I had gotten into Franklin, uh, I was dismayed to see how bad um, things had gotten with COVID. So I made the choice to come home um, as portions of the trail were closing and I think that was definitely the right decision for me and was hoping to get back out either on a flip-flop or a through hike. And so as things are opening back up, um, it seems to go quickly closing again as some folks don't seem to understand what social distancing and wearing a mask in public uh, looks like. So things are you know, starting to close down again, and I'm definitely nervous about that. But right now, if I start in Baxter State Park in Maine and head south, uh, the trail is open. And um, there's no kind of closures at this point. And you know, the only requirement for starting in Maine is they want you to have a COVID test uh, three days before you arrive. And I've taken care of that and tested negative as I expected because they've been you know, wearing a mask, social distancing, um, and not going out to restaurants and things like that. Um, for me, the priority was staying healthy so I could get back on trail. So I'm super stoked. It's going to be a little bit different than I had anticipated originally, and I think that's okay. Um, I think, you know, it'll be a different hike than I had originally planned, but my goal right now is just to get Maine done. And if I'm not having fun or it's not the experience I want it to be, I will probably just do the main section um, or maybe main and the whites and then call it a day. But I'm hoping, uh, it seems like chatter online shows that there are um, quite a few people that are starting out. So I'm hoping to meet other people and really have that trail experience that I wanted. Uh, having people around that I can commiserate with and share experiences with is really important to me um, in terms of my overall AT experience. So I'm feeling cautiously optimistic about the hike. I feel really good about my gear. I'm not making really any gear changes other than just switching out some of the clothing that I had planned um, on for the northern section of the AT compared to what I was wearing when we started back in March. So the only uh, new piece of gear that I'm bringing is my mask. So we'll be wearing it like a uh, responsible adult uh, when I'm in town um, or in a place where I can't be socially distant. And I think that is the right thing to do. It feels a little weird to be going back on trail, um, given everything that's going on in the world, it's just kind of a shit show right now. And I feel like from a social justice standpoint, I should be doing something more. So it definitely feels a little selfish. Yeah, it feels a lot selfish to be going back on trail. Um, and when I've talked to a few people about that, I got a, the same feedback from everybody, which is I'm way too hard on myself and, you know, I should go. So the other thing that's happening is when I came back, um, the company had worked for it, had laid pretty much everybody off. There's only a handful of employees left. So I've been looking for a job like many people and it has not been, um, it hasn't been easy. There's really not a lot of jobs in my field right now. So I will be continuing to look for a job on trail. So I had not planned on being away from work more than five or six months. So if I find something, that would be another reason that I might potentially need to get off trail. Um, and then the only other issue that I'm worried about is I have tendonitis in my right ankle. So I was trying to run and work out when I came home from trail, trying to kind of keep what I was had built up those first 10 days and I got hurt. So I took a month off and tried to get back into hiking and I'm still having some pain. So I've been trying to manage that. I have this hideous brace um, 
that I can wear if it starts to bother me too much. But it's definitely feeling a lot better. And after talking to the doctor, as long as I can manage the pain, um, it should be should be fine barring any other kind of injuries. So that is where we're at. So I'm just finishing up the videos from my northern section of the hike. I just could not, uh, I just couldn't deal with them. Every time I started to try to edit them or look at them, I just got really sad. So I just kind of shelved it for a while. And then as I'm kind of thinking about getting back on trail, I got them out and um, edited them up. So they will be up soon um, if they don't come out before this video. And I finally um, got my gear videos back. They had gotten corrupted, but I was able to salvage them. And so those are up now as well. And that is all I have to report. I am just uh, packing up, getting my food drop, um, ready for the 100 mile wilderness and getting everything ready to go. So happy hiking and I'll see you all on the trail. Right.